area of Final Cut, uh, another question that I had, because I got this one from Instagram. Uh, I'm sorry, let, uh, before the Instagram one, I, just the terminology. So clip versus frame, right? This is something that can be confusing, especially if you're used to um, editing audio or something else that can be a little confusing. So what is the difference between a clip and uh, a frame? So on this this specific angle from this hike, you'll see I, I coming over the camera there, the shoe hits the ground, right? Kind of slides a little bit as we're running down this, uh, this hill. So um, as you're playing this, with the video pause, if you use the arrows on the keyboard, you can just hit the arrow to the right, and you'll see it's going over. Let me mute the audio. We don't need that right now. So as this is going through, and I go frame by frame, that's what this is right now. We're just moving across the project frame by frame. Notice in the middle here, we have our time code uh, viewer here, and it's at right now one, uh, what was it, 124? 125, 126. Each time you hit the arrow to the right, we're moving through this clip frame by frame. So the clip is this entire thing on the timeline right now because I only have one clip there. If I go into my browser, each one of these angles, even though they're really long videos, each one of those is a clip. So a clip just represents one piece of video, right? So the video might be 10 minutes long or it might be 10 seconds, but that entire length of time is one clip versus a frame, which is one still image in the video. You know that videos are made up of many, many still images, and that's what we're seeing here. So th these are each of the frames as you hit the arrow to the left or to the right to go frame by frame through this video. And if we just hold the arrow to the right, then we're flying through the video. So clip is a piece of video, and a video is broken up into frames. So we have each of these individual frames. So what I had, uh, one of the questions that came across was this. They said, when I import a clip onto the timeline and play the clip, it becomes blurry as it plays. But when it pauses, when they pause the playback, it then sharpens up. Any advice? So yes, if you've noticed that, you might apply some effects to a clip, and as you're playing it, in the viewer here, it looks blurry, and then when you pause it, all of a sudden it becomes really clear. That's just because the video hasn't rendered yet. All of these frames that we're putting together to create these video clips, it takes a lot for the computer to actually play that back. And then if you start going and play, uh, putting effects and other things onto the clips, let me go and put a like a look on here. We'll do the 50s TV frame here. If I play this, you're not going to see this over the video stream and then pause it. While it's playing, it is kind of blurry. But when I pause it, all of a sudden, it, it's nice and clear. And all that is is this is unrendered. We see the little dashed line at the top here going across the timeline. That just lets us know this clip is not rendered. And when you render it, it should look a little bit better. Notice the little dotted line, the dashed line above the timeline is now slowly moving across to the right. Again, that might be hard to see on the, the video stream here. But that's letting us know Final Cut is rendering this effect that we put onto the video. And then when we play it, it should play back a little clearer. In a similar fashion, I told you earlier I was using proxy media for this video as we watch it. That's going to make things a little bit blurrier as well. But as an editor, you should be able to go through and play this video, work with it. It doesn't have to look perfect until you get to the end. When you're going through and color correcting or doing some of the final touches, then maybe you want it to be nice and clear, and that's where you'll want to make sure it renders as you play back. So then another question around this kind of frame versus still image is, how do you merge a clip on the timeline after you cut it with the blade tool? So that's another kind of interesting thing. So as we're going across, if I hit the letter B for blade or razor blade, if I click on it, it cuts that clip into two, right? I can move this side, move this around or move this one. They're now two separate clips. However, if you'd cut it and you accidentally cut it and you didn't want to do that, you can actually click on that edit point. And if you do a, a right click, we should get a, a join here, but that edit point we can actually click on it, hit delete on the keyboard, and it'll join those two clips together. Again, let me do Command-Z. So if there's a cut, when we click on the edit point, notice it 
selects one of those edges, that's why it's yellow, then just hit the delete key on the keyboard and it'll delete that cut. So if you accidentally go through, sometimes I've seen people, they go through, they cut, cut, cut. If you don't want to cut, as long as there's a little dashed line in between those two clips, you can go in and select it and hit delete. However, say we delete this section here, these two clips no longer line up. You're not going to be able to delete that edit point. You'll just get that error noise, right? So it can only, you can only do that when the clips were originally combined. And then you can just do that by clicking on it and hitting the delete key. I'm just going to do Command-Z a couple times to go back. So uh, that's how you can get rid of those edits. If you uh, want to combine two clips that did have a section taken out, let's say I take out this section, if I wanted to combine these two, you could certainly right-click or control-click on the clips and say new compound clip, and that would group those together. But that's just kind of another way to, to do that. All right, so let me do Command-Z, zoom out here. And let's get in a little bit deeper into what a frame is. So we know now that a clip is this entire video clip, and then a frame is just one still image on that, uh, that video, right? Well, if you do Command and the plus key, which is also the equals key on the top right of the keyboard, each time you hit that, you can zoom in closer and closer to your project. And what you'll notice, hopefully you can see this on the video over the stream, there's an area here that's a little bit lighter than these other darker areas to the left and the right. And that highlighted area actually represents an entire frame of this video. If I go to the right, it goes to the next picture. If I go to the left, it goes back a picture. So that is the entire area of, a, of the video. And we can pull up the audio down here. You can see the audio waveform. And someone asked, how can you edit in between? Like they want to edit the video in here. Well, you can't because there's no video there, right? We know this entire section right here is one frame of video. And... Uh, so you can't actually edit as a subframe. If I hit my razor blade tool and I try to cut right here where the, the blade is, you're going to see it doesn't cut there. It cuts over here to the left a little bit further because it's going to the nearest frame. So just keep that in mind. You can't edit video in here because that's what's called a subframe. That's editing at the subframe level versus frame by frame. And with video, there is no subframes. It's just you have one frame and then you have the next. However, you'll notice at the bottom here, we do have our waveform for the audio and you can edit audio at the subframe level. So you can certainly go in there and make cuts for the audio. Uh, you can do this by right clicking on it. For example, we can detach the audio and then we can get even in, in even closer with the audio itself. And you notice if I cut, it'll go through and cut that one there. This also is a good way to uh, go through and uh, adjust audio. So you can actually move audio over uh, at that subframe level if you do need to edit very, very precisely. So again, going back to the original question and, and just kind of understanding the terminology of a clip versus a frame, we know that a clip is this entire video clip. All of these frames, which are the individual stills, combined to make that video clip. All right, moving on to question three. We had a question that came over from Instagram, and they just wanted to create a set of black flash frames. All right, so this is a this is a fun one. So they just essentially want it to flash a couple times black. So to do this, I recommend zooming in a little bit, which again, I used Command Plus a little bit ago.